Hello guys and welcome to the part number 50 of the Note Editor tutorial series. My name is Pavel Krupla from LearnerFreak.com and today in this part we are going to have a look on how to create this hovering effect for the notes and also for the edges. So I hope you are excited and let's start coding. To enable our hovering effect let's start with an edge and here we can actually find a place let's say here uh, just below the mouse release event and we can say something like define hover enter and leave event those two and we can say self dot hovered equals to true and after that we should repaint so self dot update and also define hover leave event and say self dot hovered is false and again self dot update so first of all let's create this variable here up here we got our init flex and we can say self dot hovered equals by default false that's perfect however at this point of time this event won't be called for them to be called we need to say self dot set accept our events and put in true and since we are using the q graphics path item instead of just a simple bounding box like like we are using here in the node the detection will happen according to what is the shape function returning and in our case it's already returning path so this is going to work perfectly for us. So let's create some pens and change what we have here. We can create a new color and say that this color is going to be called underscore color underscore Howard. Here we can choose completely solid color and 37 A6 FF because I like bluish tones. Then we are creating pen, pen selected, pen dragging, and we will create pen Howard or Hauer. And this is going to be from color underscore Hauer. Perfect. And let's change the width of, of the edges actually. I fiddled around with that and I decided to go with 3 pixels width. And if we create the Penhauer, we can say that set width f is going to be 5 pixels, and therefore, here in our paint method, which is actually here, perfect, we can ask if this edge is being hovered, so if self.hovered, and also we don't want to hover over an edge which we are actually dragging so that's the dashed one so we can check for that also and say that if self dot edge dot end socket is not none so the end socket is set already therefore it is an existing edge we can say painter dot set pen and choose our self dot underscore pen hour also we will definitely set no brush so let's move it here like this perfect and then we just paint the path and just on the next step we are painting it again so therefore if I run it now and create something like input node we are dragging and I'm definitely not able to have hover created or drawn. However, since it is created, I can hover over the shape and I see the blue outline. Because the first outline has a width of, the first drawing has width 5, so therefore there is an edge and then we are overdrawing it with the regular black line 
and we can see that also for the green. So this works perfectly and let's do the same thing for our node here. So the node graphic node that is here, let's go up and I'm going to copy a lot of stuff since it is the same. Let's say the self hover is false, then we need to set accept hover events. So copy that here. Then we are going to use the colors. And as I'm looking here, the colors are defined strictly right here. So we can change that. I will copy these three and put them here. So the default is going to be this. Then the selected is going to be this. And for the Howard, we can we can leave it like it is already. And here for the pens, just self underscore color. Let's copy this. Color selected and color Howard. And this is going to be pen Howard. Or maybe Howard. That would be awesome. Perfect. And let the brushes be like they are already. We got these two events. We need to override them also here. So we got mouse event, mouse release event. Put them here. Perfect and then just the paint method. So here we can set the brush first again and ask if self dot Howard and then we will definitely painter dot set pen self dot underscore pen Howard. Perfect. And then we are going to draw the path, which is this command here. Then what we need to do is to just paint it again with the default pen and otherwise we are going to use the code which we were using before. Okay, that's perfect. And let's just have a look here and set up the width of the lines here. So self dot underscore pen default set width and say 2.0 let's copy that around and for the Howard let's choose 3 pixels and for the selected let's leave it on 2 pixels so now when I run it and let's open our example 2 for example as you can see this is the hovering effect for our edges and it looks cool and these are our nodes perfect and I think this outline around the edges is much nicer now great so this is basically everything you need to do to enable hovering over the edges and the nodes I hope you learned something, thanks for watching and see you at the next part.